welcome back to another episode of Trey Codes. My name is Trey Hope, as always, and hold on one second. There we go. All right. Uh, just a heads up, I got a new stabilizer for recording, so now I got a little follow action going on while I do the videos. So hopefully this makes it a little bit more personable, I guess. But that's besides the point. Today I want to talk about another Flutter package that I've came across, and it is called Package Info Plus. Essentially. It gives you some extra information about the app that you're working with, such as the build number, the version number, package name, and things like that. So it's gonna be a fairly quick and simple video, but I'll demonstrate it and hopefully it makes a little more sense about what you can do to let users know about your app and what version and, and, and such that they're currently on. So I'll go to the pub.dev website and as you can see here the package is called package info plus version 1.4.3 which was published three days ago so it's pretty recent it was published by fluttercommunity.dev and supports no safety it currently has 908 likes 130 pub points and has a popularity of 100 percent so this is a very highly supported and trusted flutter package so we're going to use this for today's demonstration so i'll come over to the code and we uh, close this out. So in our pubspec.yaml file, I added the package info plus version 1.4.3. Now in the actual app, I'll just explain what this demo page is, okay? So we have four, we have five global variables. The first one is the app name, and that is the CF bundle display name on iOS, application slash label on Android. Then we have the package name, which is the bundle identifier on iOS, get package name on Android, the version, which is the CF bundle short version string on iOS, version name on Android. Then we have the build number, which is CF bundle version on iOS, version code on Android. And finally, there is a is loading variable that we're gonna use simply to let the user know or let the UI know, hey, we're still fetching the package info. So we come down here into the init state, we call this load function, all this jargon right here. First thing we want to do is we want to use that package info uh, class and call from platform. And what that's going to do is retrieve package information from the platform and the result is then cached. Okay. From there, we then apply all those variables that we just mentioned, the app name, package name, version, build number to those global variables. And then we set the is loading flag to false to let the UI know, hey, we're done loading and you can update the UI. And we'll do that by calling the set state method at the very end. All right, so down here in the scaffold, it's a simple app bar. It just says package info plus for the title. Then we have this is loading variable that's gonna let us know if we need to have that circular progress indicator. Otherwise, display this column that's going to give a list tile, which is this, this little method I created down here that just takes in a title and subtitle. We're gonna use that to display these list tiles over here for the information given from the app. So I'll refresh this, refresh this, and show you what values come back on that package info object. Okay, so right here in package info, we're in the debugger right now. I put a breakpoint at the set state method. You can see right here, the app name says demo, says the project I'm working in, build number number one, package name, com.example.demos, and then finally the version is 1.0.0, okay? And then it displays in the app. So for this demonstration, I'll show you what it looks like to update these values. If we go to our pubspec.yaml, we can see that the version number is actually specified in here. So we can update this to let's say version 1.2.3. And then the build number is right next to that version number, uh, next to the plus sign. So we'll update this from build number one to build number uh, 200, okay? Then we'll just save this. We'll need to rebuild the entire app because it needs to run a Flutter pub git again. And run the bug, oops. Gotta make sure I'm in the dark file. All right. And if everything works how it should, we should see that the version is upgraded to 1.2.3 and the build number is 200, okay? So we'll let it run its magic real quick. Running Xcode build, all right. Yeah, it doesn't usually take too long. All right, so let's look in that package info variable again. All right, so our build number is 200 now, the version is 1.2.3. The package name and app name you can't change after you've already created your project. We'll hit play and now our UI is updated. All right. And that is how you use the package info plus Flutter package. I usually use it whenever I'm working with, well, I use it with every app, honestly, but I put it in like the drawer menu of the app. So that way when users are using it, they can scroll to the bottom and see I'm on version 1.2.3 build number 200. That way, if there was an update that went out or if they have some faulty software, 
we can pinpoint directly what package or where the issue happened on which version, which build. So it's very helpful for the users as well as the developers. So as always, if this video was helpful, please like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think about the package info plus package. Until next time, I will see you later. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.